Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the um, users of free accounting software and Bassoff to show you guys how to join up to Bassoff and um, and use it. So um, we've now got a few different versions of the software. We've got the free accounting software, which we've had for like over 10 years and it's being used online. We've got the free accounting software desktop software and we've got um, Bassoff, which is an online software. Bassoff has two versions now. One is uh, a, a web, um, so one is an installed client version. It stores the data on our server, so it's cloud software. And what I'm going to demonstrate to you now is a web-based version of Bassoff. So um, I'm at the Bassoff website, and um, there is this link here: join online or download. So I'll click on that and. This video shows, or this video that's currently on this page shows you how to download and install the installed version of Bassoff. Um, I'm going to show you how to, um, there's this announcement here that we've now got a web browser based version. So um, I'm just going to click there and then join. So I'll just um, um, zoom in a bit so that you can see this. Um, so what you need to do is pick a um, username. So I've entered a, chosen a username um, and entered a password and retyped the password just to confirm that I've got it correct. Then you click save and continue. Okay, I'm going to click don't save my password there. Okay, now um, <coughs> this next bit is a little bit um, tricky. If you've used um, um, Google Authenticator before, you'll be fine. Um, what we have to do here is um, um, set up multi-factor authentication and what that is is two factors to um, enter to join up to, to or to log in whenever you log in so passwords are not um, necessarily that secure and so what we have is a second factor um, now this um, uh, QR code and I hope you can see it on the screen you might it might be cut off a little bit but if you can see this uh, box with all the dots in it that's called a QR code and that be, can be scanned by the um, uh, Google Authenticator app um, now um, I'm just going to show you how to do that so I've got my phone here I'm recording this on my desktop so um, I'll just uh, switch to the um, phone screen. What I've got to do is scan this QR code um, into the to the app. So I'll just move that out of the way and switch to the phone screen here. So on the phone screen you've got this red dot. This is Google Authenticator where we are using uh, an Android system. In an iPhone it'll look a little bit different. As you can see I've got a bunch of these things already. Um, if you've just installed Google Authenticator, you won't have any, um, and that's fine. Um, but you might be using Google Authenticator to log into different um, ser web services, so you'd you'd have um, um, some numbers already. So I'm just going to click this um, this uh, red dot or this plus sign to add. And when I do that, it'll ask me. Um, do I want to scan a barcode or enter a provided key? We, um, I'm going to choose scan a barcode. You can enter the key and the key is on the web page there. Um, now, if you can see this, I'll be careful not to line it up too soon. I'll explain what I'm doing here. Um, it's asking me to line up this box um, with the barcode. Okay, so what you've got to do is get that um, bar that QR code within that box, and it will automatically detect it and um, and and read it. Um, it's quite quick to detect it, and people have in the past accidentally scanned the QR code from the video that I put up. So 
try not to do that try to scan your actual QR code um, if I do put this video on the same screen so I'll just I'll just move it over and you'll see that as soon as it gets in the frame there you go as soon as it gets in the frame it detects it and then it um, starts generating the thing so you see here that the um, this is the last one here and it, it's putting um, the website URL and then your username in the brackets and I just pick test one okay now it has a timer and every um, um, 30 seconds it will change this number um, some people kind of think it's using processing power or internet data to do this it's not all it uses is um, a code um, also referred to as a seed that's in the um, QR code that it scanned as well as the current time to generate that number um, you cannot predict what number it's going to generate without having that initial seed so um, um, oh, what's going on here I think the phone um, screen timed out um, so it's um, is a second factor because your only way to um, to know what the number is is to actually have that phone in your possession the first factor is your password and this is the second factor so I'll just bring the um, 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 other thing back into the screen here now I've got to type in the um, number and it's already changed since I moved the screen so I'll type in the current number and this just tests that you've set it up correctly um, and then click save and continue in fact I might just have to move that up a little bit I'm not sure if I've got the screen in the right position now okay once you've done that um, type in some details um, this is not my actual date of birth um, by the way um, So the last step here is if you are a tax agent or BAS agent to enter your um, agent details. If you don't enter it, you can fix it up later. Um, so I'm just going to say um, I am in fact a tax agent, but I'm just going to say no for this and then scroll down to the bottom and click save and continue okay so um, that completes the joining up process um, I'll just shrink this screen down a bit so we can see it when, when you have it on your screen it will um, display probably within the, this two column kind of format um, now it's prompting me to set up um, a new business so obviously once you've just joined up you're, you're going to want to set up a new business you might be joining up to um, to to use a business someone else might have already joined up and set up the business and you're just joining up because you need to get access to that business at this point then you'd go and approach them and, and set up and get them to grant you access but let's let's say um, you, you're not doing that and creating a new business so let me just put in some details um, you, you have to put a few details in and the required fields have this um, um, sort of light red um, asterisk there um, I'm just going to put some random um, information here I 
All right, and then save. Oh, okay, so it says saved. Okay. Um, and once you've done that, you can um, we'll click on your organization name to go to the menu. It's telling me my license has expired. Um, so Bassoff is not free. It costs a hundred dollars per year as a starting point. So uh, before you can really do anything, you have to um, set up or pay the license fee. So click that link to go to that page. Um, there's some different rates for different um, numbers of staff. Um, I'm just going to pick the 0 to 5 and click Save. Um, and now, um, I mean, it could probably redirect you straight to the next page after you save, and I might make it do that. But um, I'll just point out this thing at the top of the page here. We have this um, um, navigation bar, what I call navigation bar. Some people on, on websites, you see something similar. They call them um, breadcrumbs, um, or um, I've also I think I've referred to it as a drill path. Basically, you've got your home um, or your higher levels to the left, and then um, goes to the right. So we've had this in the old free accounting software website, um, and and we've got it here now. One thing that I've done, which I think is pretty nice, is I've got this. Um, the the current spot you're at is is not linked. It's and it's not in blue, um, but we've actually added um, um, options to the right hand side of the place where you currently are. So I think with free accounting software, the place you currently were, or the level you were currently at, was always the the rightmost option. Um, in this case, to go to lower levels, there's really only one option, which is to pay the invoice. So we've got that off to the right. Um, so you'll see a couple instances in Bassoff where that's um, set up like that. So I'm just going to click that now. Um, this is explaining it a little bit more. Um, basically, here is a 30-day money-back guarantee. And then um, click Make Payment. Okay, so at this point it pops up a St. George Bank um, um, hosted payments page. And I'll just sort of move this out of the view while I go and make that payment. Okay, now once um, you've made the payment, um, you get redirected back to the website again, and the the software um, says thank you, we have received your payment, which is excellent. You've got a ta tax invoice there, so just print this paid as as a record of your payment, and and your tax invoice. Um, you can actually always come back to it later. Um, for example, if I click on the um, uh, on the organization name and then go to my business details um, down the bottom there's a link to go back to the invoice um, righty yeah well that's um, pretty much all there is to um, joining up to Bassoff um, for the Users who've previously used free accounting software they see uh, quite a similar kind of um, layout with the menu, whether you've got the worksheets, the reports, and the setup. Um, um, different kind of style to to the page, um, but pretty similar functionality and um, so on. Um, once you've done um, working with us off, you could just click this logout link and um, yeah that's all there is to it hope this video has been useful to you and thank you for watching